Hello, and welcome to the Vintasol Battle Cruiser. If you want to skip the tour and get straight to what the ship can do and how to do it, please skip to 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Thanks. So we've just entered the ship, and straight up here we have the rear medical bay. Now we head up to the bridge. This is the command center. Plenty of consoles for gunning positions. Straight up, this is the bridge piece. It can be sinkable into the lower deck for protection. And we will go down the lower deck now. That's the door for the bunker where the bridge is stored when it goes below. This room here has the rear gravity generator as well as all the movable pieces for the bridge. If we head down here through this door, we have the rear main engine bays on the right one here. Now we also have internal thrusters as well as outside. The thrusters are supported for thruster damage so they won't melt anything as there's nothing in the way. Now if we head out, and as we head down this hall closer towards the center of the ship, we have observation. That's the path down to the hangar, and this is a empty usable space. If anyone wants to include things such as mess halls or anything else really. Here we have a gyro room. There's one on each side of the ship and also top and bottom. And we duck over to the right side of the ship. Same thing in there. Now we're approaching the control room that overlooks the hangar and the missile bay. Now you can open the hangar doors and missile bay doors from up here. It's also observation in case anything goes wrong with a launch, which it occasionally can do. Now this path here leads us through the center of the ship and towards the front. There's also one below that does the same thing. So plenty of observation just in case anything goes wrong. We're now in the front section of the ship. Up these stairs and through the hall we have crew quarters on each side. Nothing fancy. So there's also one on the left there. Now if we head up through here, this is an entrance and exit of the front side of the ship. And here is also a trench-like area. In case an enemy decides to land on the front of your ship, you can send soldiers out through that door with plenty of cover to defend. As we head back down through, we enter the lower area of the front of the ship through the production area and here we have the gun deck and front medical bay area and also gravity drive through that window. If we head down here is the actual level for the gun deck with control panels. This is the gravity drive room. With this on, it accelerates the ship from about two to three times faster. This is all the mechanism that drives the maneuverable broadside guns. They're also reloadable. And leaving the front of the ship, we head down through under the middle and back towards the rear and out into the hangar. Now, moving on to what this ship can do. Okay, so we have just activated battle mode. This warns all the crew that we are about to engage 
and it brings up these lights as indicators for the missile bays. Eight green lights for the eight missile bays ready to be fired. And you hit this button here. You can also sink the bridge down to the deck below. This is only necessary if the bridge is taking heavy fire and you move out of the way to avoid a direct hit. Now there are also the missile indicators in the deck below so you can continue the battle operations. Now this is the one door in and out of this bridge bunker. Just hit that button there and these blast doors will open up. control panel on the outside will do the same for closing and opening the blast doors. Okay, moving on to the missile bays. These buttons here activate the missile bay doors. Now this gives access for maintenance or even restocking the missiles, which you can do from the hangar bay bringing in a cargo ship. The other missile bay doors, for the right button there. The missile bays are isolated from each other, so if something goes wrong in, say, the left missile bay, you'll still have the right one operational. This button here unlocks the hangar doors and puts them in a ready state to be movable. That button there now opens the doors. And just for an idea of what size ship this hangar can take, the G101 gunship included with this world will fit in just almost perfectly. So the same button again to close the doors up. Those lights will continue flashing whenever those doors are able to be moved. So once that is closed and you lock the hangar doors, the lights will turn off and is now no longer able to move. Now for the maneuverable broadside rocket launchers. There are four on the left, four on the right, and four facing forwards, which are not maneuverable, they're just straight firing. So if you select the middle of the left three buttons there, and then activate the rockets, they will shoot forwards. You hit the right hand button, that will activate your right hand guns. Nothing else will fire, just the right, to save rockets. Activate the left hand side, it will shoot just the left hand side rockets. Maneuvering these involves suspension systems, so like turning a car or turning the wheels is also how you turn the guns. So they can angle slightly forwards and slightly backwards just in case the ship gets out of range of the guns. Now onto the missile system itself. It's based off uh, VLS, which is Vertical Launch System, 
which are found on present day warships. So in the gunner seat you hit 1 on the hotkey, the hatch will open to launch the missile in missile bay 1, that light will flash to signify the missile bay 1's launch, it'll turn off once the missile has launched. You can now take control of this missile with the remote. hatch will soon close afterwards, so this is all from one button. Now guide the missile to its target. Now in this case we'll aim it back towards the Vintasol and see what kind of damage the missiles can do and how much of a hit the battlecruiser can take itself. Alright, so it's the first missile exploded. Now keep in mind this is heavy armor. Please excuse my New Year's hangover, but I'm still putting in the effort to do this video, so I hope you enjoy it. So now you can also launch simultaneously three missiles, or however many you like. So you see three lights flashing. They'll all go out once the three missiles have launched. Now we are targeting the Vintasol again, hitting the bridge this time. So just to recap, hotkeys 1 through to 8 are missile launches, while 9 is to reload. So now we launch the remaining 4 missiles left in the right hand bay. lights go out to show that the missiles have been expended. We'll take control of one of those missiles again. And another hit to the cruiser. So now we will initiate the reload with number 9 on the hotkeys. Now that middle light will switch from blue to yellow to show that the reload is in progress. So the launcher comes down, grabs a missile off the rotating reloading system and then it will bring it back up to the launch bay. That light will now turn from yellow to blue and all 8 bays will be reloaded and ready to use again. So in the gunner control panel you switch to the second set of hotkeys to now use missile 1 from the second reloaded missiles. Once again light goes out. Another hit on the cruiser. Seems to be a lot more damage this time around. Now, to my surprise, when I was leaving the ship, there was a lot of internal damage from the missiles that struck the ship. Um, so the damage actually affects a lot lower than the appearance of what happens on the armor. See at the back here as well. It's quite a large effect of damage. Now here's one to some light armor, just to show the effect of that. So let's go take a look, and as you can see, a little bit of damage there to the deck, but the gunships themselves have taken a significant amount of damage pretty much torn the front off that one. Okay. So this is a test of speed and the point defense that are positioned all around the ship. 
So you'll notice at the moment the takeoff speed and maneuverability is quite poor. But once you activate the gravity drive, it increases the acceleration quite significantly. So we've activated it. The number's now climbing a lot faster. Now when moving at this speed it is advised to use only the Gatling guns to target an object as the missile launchers can blow themselves up. So the guns are activated. And these are good for taking out small craft, light armour, such as this target we're passing now. Okay, now also included in this world is the maneuverable rocket launcher gun here which you can copy and paste to your own use if you will. Same with the vertical launch system and the 40 missiles it carries. If anyone wishes to use this, you can just build a ship around it pretty much. Or even incorporate it into a space station. Just don't delete any of the timer blocks as they are needed for all the launch procedures and reloading and whatnot, so thanks for watching. Cheers.